subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. The one-stop destination for all WWE and AEW. Sean's View Entertainment. As per usual, we have Blockbuster Cataclysmic updates right here on the Brash and the Brazen just coming through my desk right now. And that is why we do all WWE news and rumors in real time. Because you get to get real-time news and rumors as it goes down, as it happens in front of you. You don't have to wait for the newsletters, the dirt sheets, the websites. Because I give it to you before that even hits right here on YouTube.com. That's why it's so important to click the bell, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. Ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news as it concerns... The plans, the booking, the creative for the Survivor Series. Now, I'm not one that goes into spoilers, but this is about the booking, the creativity, the master plan going into the Survivor Series. Also, Randy Orton in massive heat, massive waters, hot water with the WWE. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to expand a little bit more onto that from our last video, but let's get right into the booking for the Survivor Series. WWE Survivor Series is an event to take place on the November the 25th. And listen to this one, guys. There is reportedly a rumor going out there that the winning team at Survivor Series, the winning team, each member of that team is going to earn a championship match. So, you know, and it's going to be by random. They're going to pull out what, you know, whether it be for the tag team titles, Seth Rollins' championship, whether it be for the, for the uh, Intercontinental Championship. Um, you know, so say if Cody Rhodes' team wins or Seth Rollins' team wins, whichever you want to throw it, whatever, you, whatever, whatever way you want to go about it. Each member of that team will earn a title, but if the Judgment Day side wins, well, then they'll earn a championship shot, uh, uh, you know, <clears throat> by a way of random. However, that's not the only plan being thrown out there, ladies and gentlemen. There is another rumor going out there that the winning team, there will be stakes in the match. It isn't just going to be for bragging rights. Because as you can see, it's Raw versus Raw. It's not Raw versus SmackDown. However, there is a rumor and speculation that there is going to be a massive Raw versus SmackDown match for bragging rights. Speaking about WWE bragging rights, there was a lot of rumors and speculation about that pay-per-view bragging rights coming back. But since the bragging rights would happen at Survivor Series, where the winning team would indeed have bragging rights, that seems to be the plan. So let's get going here. Uh, Judgment Day has a new member in Drew McIntyre. Or is he? Now, there's a rumor going out there that he didn't actually join the Judgment Day to be a member, but just because he has more in common with them and he and he has more, uh, you know, more to do with the Judgment Day than he has because he's got a lot against Cody Rhodes. He's got a lot against Jey Uso. Um, so in Drew McIntyre's mind, he hasn't actually joined the Judgment Day. He has just joined them for that one night. So there's what's going on there. We are told that the fifth member of the Babyface side of War Games is slated to be announced before Survivor Series itself. It was previously reported that Randy Orton is going to be the fifth Babyface team member for the team. Now, this could be a big moment for fans for the Viper. It seems that they will have that big announcement for Orton before Survivor Series. And what is your take on the build to this Survivor Series? Also, J.D. McDonnan is now an official member of the WWE's Judgment Day. And I'll tell you what right now. Judgment Day, I'll tell you what, there's a breaking news story on that right now. Conflicting reports. Now, we all saw last night, Damian Priest said, I'm the leader, I'm in charge, I'm the main table. You know, kind of like Roman Reigns. He's the main course of his table. He's he's the head of the table. He's the tribal chief. Well, Damian Priest comes out and says, well, I'm the leader of the judgment. And yes, we are going to get to the massive SmackDown star, main event star, former world champion that just had massive knee surgery. Also, what is the massive heat Randy Orton? Is Oh, wait a minute, just coming. Whoa, 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 viewers. Just coming across my desk right now, and this is major to the report, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, right now, there's a lot of rumors and speculation that if Raw moves to FX, not only would it possibly be in the second or third hour, Raw being TV 14, there is rumors and speculation of Raw moving entirely back to two hours. What are your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on Monday Night Raw possibly, potentially moving back to two hours? So, ladies and gentlemen, that would be huge in of itself because, uh, you know, it's very hard. Now, now, listen, if the Attitude Era would have been three hours, that would have been great because it was compelling TV. It was TV that made you want to watch more and more. It was the Ruthless Aggression Era, and Raw was three hours. It was entertaining. It was engaging. It was, um, you know, it was unpredictable TV. And that's the thing I'm hearing right now is that Triple H is going to make Raw a little bit more unpredictable. Boy, God, we, we need that. We deserve that, I'll tell you. Now, also, you know, usually December is a downtime for the W. Oh, I'm just going to get right into it. The WWE SmackDown star that underwent knee surgery, and now there's rumors of retirement. Rey Mysterio has just underwent knee surgery. 
your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. This is your premier source, the hottest, the latest, the greatest, the newest, the most significant, the most defined, the unapologetic. Sean's View Entertainment is where it is at. Now, again, once the Survivor Series is over and done, there's a lot of rumors and speculation that in December, well, not rumors, this is verified, that once WWE goes into December month, it's kind of low. It's kind of like a bland month. It's kind of like, a, a, you know, you won't miss much. Well, there's rumors that, again, yes, we do talk a lot of rumors, as you can tell on here. Also news and breaking news and situations and conflicts and whatnot. But that the WWE isn't going to lay low in December. So you may want to pay attention to the month of December because there might be a few, a few swerves that you didn't, a un, few unexpectedness that you didn't expect. CM Punk's troll game is so good, man. The devil. The WWE logo, Randy Orton. I mean, this is something. I mean, CM Punk is trolling everybody online right now about the Survivor Series. Your thoughts, your comments, your opinions. We do this multiple times a day and in every single way. Subscribe.